Remember, there are three basic concepts to drawing in Apex. You define the area, and this is where you tell Apex what it is that you want to draw. You establish a point of beginning, that is, choose a place to start, press enter to put the pen down, and then finally, draw the area. You've learned that drawing lines in Apex is a very easy process, and there are a lot of different ways that you can draw. As I showed you in the last video, you can draw with your arrow keys, your mouse, and you can input a distance and direction. And in this video, I'll break down this third basic concept of drawing the area a little further by showing you more input methods as well as dimension placement. Apex allows you to draw in architectural input and engineering input. Architectural input allows you to draw your sketch in feet and inches, while engineering input allows you to draw in what we refer to as decimal feet. Both have their advantages, and we'll show them here. If you've ever had to draw off a set of plants, then you know just how cumbersome it can be converting all those segments down in feet and inches to their decimal equivalent, and then having to add them all up to determine what the actual wall's length is. If your math is anything like mine, then you understand when I say doing this opens up a lot of potential for error. But that's precisely where Apex shines. To draw an architectural input, you simply enter the feet and inches as they appear on your plans, and then specify a distance. For instance, if we have a wall that's, say, 10 feet 7 inches long, I would type in 10, press my tab key, and in the lower left-hand corner it shows 10 feet 0 inches. That's in architectural mode now, and it's expecting inches. So, I type in 7, and it shows 10 feet 7 inches, then I press the right arrow key. And what you'll see here is the dimension is automatically converted back to the decimal equivalent, and that's because Apex is first and foremost an area calculation program. And because we use it to determine square footage, we convert back to the decimal equivalent for easier area verification. Let's say that you're working on a set of plans, and one of the walls looks very similar to this. It's broken down into its feet and inch segments, and you want to draw this in Apex. What you would normally do is you would take this and you would break each one of these segments down into its decimal equivalent, then you would add them all up, then you would actually draw the line. Well, with Apex you don't have to do that. All you have to do is continue to grow the line in that given direction based on the measurements that you see. The first line is 4 feet 2 inches to the right, so I will type in 4 tab 2 and press my right arrow key. This method that we're about to use is what we call dimension stacking. You notice that the lines are still gray, which means we haven't anchored the lines just yet. You can continue to manipulate a line's length and orientation as long as it's still in this rubbered state. So, the next one is 6 feet 4 inches to the right. So I type in 6, tab, 4, and press my right arrow key. Now you see the line grow to 10.5 feet long. The next one is 5 feet 7 inches to the right. So I type in 5, tab, 7, press my right arrow key. 10 feet, 8 inches to the right. And finally, 9, tab, 5, or 9 feet, 5 inches to the right. And you notice now that that gives us a total line length of 36.2 feet. When I press enter, it darkens that line, and now I can place that dimension of 36 point two feet. As most of you know, engineering input allows you to draw in decimal feet by typing in something like 15.5 feet to the right and the line is drawn. Now you can continue to draw and grow this line as well, 5.3 more feet to the right, growing that total distance to 20.8 feet. That's the difference between architectural input and engineering input. And now that you understand both methods of input, let's draw our first area.